The following example presents to you a closed pipe. We've got a pipe which has a thickness of 5 millimeters and a diameter of 500 millimeters. Um, it's sealed and it has an internal pressure of 30 megapascals. Now bear in mind, unlike the previous example, this one is sealed, so we have both longitudinal stresses and hoop stresses, okay? So we just after we calculate the longitudinal hoop stresses uh, sorry the longitudinal stresses and hoop stresses we have to draw a diagram that displays them okay mm -hmm. so first of all we know that hoop stresses equals pressure times radius divided by thickness we know that the internal pressure is 30 megapascals the radius is 250 and the thickness is 5 this gives us a hoop, this gives us hoop stresses worth of 1500 megapascals next we also know that longitudinal stresses equals pressure times radius divided by 2 times the thickness which gives us 30 as a pressure times 250 as a radius over 2 divided by 5 where 5 is the thickness this gives us uh, longitudinal stresses which equal to 750 megapascals okay so if we draw the following diagram we find that here the vertical stresses are the longitudinal stresses these are 750 megapascals and the hoop stresses which are radial stresses are 1500 as displayed by this diagram so just to summarize quickly this was a closed pipe a closed pipe means we have longitudinal stresses because it's sealed and hoop stresses so we, so we calculated both of them and we drew the diagram thank you for listening I hope that helped